partner. The Baron's got plenty of guards on duty, and it's a long way up to his castle on the hill. Pilots get better and better. We've got some real competition on our hands this year. Oh, I'm not saying it's too much for Team Black Baron. No, 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 no. We've done a fine job training. Our pilots are in tip top condition. The best lot, without question, truly. I'm not just saying this, truly. This is going to be our finest victory ever. Yes, yes. Tomorrow we'll witness some legendary dogfighting. Uh, provided the other teams don't sabotage each other. When will they learn? Never. Never learn. Psst, Sly! Hey, Sly! Sly, are you up there? Nope, sorry. Just us Black Bear and Goons. Throw the switch and lower the drawbridge so that I can get up there. Sorry, pal. I don't see any switch. What? But there just has to be a switch. I can't get in the Baron's hangar from down here. Hold on. I got an idea. It's gonna fall. Medieval, but effective. Thanks, pal. Sure thing. See you back at the safe house. is accurate. The flight roster should be locked behind one of the paintings in this hangar. Okay, 
Hey, fellas. According to the Aces flight lineup, we'll be flying against Team Iceland and Team Belgium in tomorrow's semi-final round. As you're all aware, we've only got a single plane, while our opponents will be flying 15 apiece. You got that, guys? That's 30 to 1 odds against us. In order to give us a fighting chance, we'll need to pit these two teams against each other. First, Bernie and Sly will paddle through the sewers beneath town to get access to an air vent leading into Team Iceland's hotel room. Steal one of their trademark Viking helmets, then head over to Team Belgium's hangar. Vandalize one of their aircraft, then flab the helmet in order to frame Team Iceland for the damage. Next, Murray and I will steal one of Team Belgium's monogram handkerchiefs. Meanwhile, the Guru will break into the Team Iceland supply truck, carrying their lucky ice sculpture. Sly will steal the art and then place the handkerchief insinuating Team Belgium for the crime. Get it? We frame both teams so they'll be gunning for each other and not Sly in the semifinals. All the while, I'll be setting up defenses around the Team Cooper air hangar. You never know when one of the other teams might come looking to do us some harm. Good thinking. Team Iceland won't be gunning for me if they think the Belgians stole their lucky hunk of ice. That's the idea. Now the first thing to do is steal one of Team Belgium's official gold lace monogrammed handkerchiefs. Murray will head inside and get one of those stodgy Belgians laughing. They're notoriously stone-faced. Then I'll move in and steal the handkerchief. Seems like getting inside that truck might be a good job for the guru. He could use some of the guards' heads to bash in the back doors. Agreed. I'll make sure he's in position. Okay, Murray, no pressure. But you've got to find a Team Belgium pilot and get him laughing so hard that Bentley can make the pull. This is serious business, pal. Those guys are uptight. If they notice being robbed, we'll be kicked out of the Aces competition. Hello, Belgium Flyer. Do you like comedy? I think it's time for Mr. Salty Pants to crack a smile. What do you say? Why did the chicken cross the road to France? Because it wasn't turkey! And you see, the chicken's not a turkey, or a turk! It's a chicken! A French hen! I can't make heads or tails of this coin! <laughs> Get it? It's totally funny because, like, when you flip a coin, it comes out either heads or tails. Come on, that's comic gold! Ever see someone put their fist down? 
your throat? Tala! Hey, fish! Duck! I need help! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bentley, it's go time. Make the pull while the Belgian's laughing, or he's sure to feel you fishing for the handkerchief. <laughs> 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 nice work. Meet me outside with the goods. It's up to the guru now. <laughs> Bentley's en route to me with the monogrammed handkerchief, but we'll never be able to swipe the ice sculpture unless we can get into that armored truck. <laughs> I agree. The back door should be its weak spot. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the guards around here won't mind too much if you break the door down with their heads. <laughs> Bentley set up a waypoint on the truck. Should be handy. The thing's moving pretty fast. You'll have to pay attention on your next approach. Could get sticky.
Okay, Sly, your turn. You'll have to sprint hard to catch up, but jumping inside through the roof should be easy. Team Iceland has already gone to sleep. Time to borrow one of their Viking helmets. Why do you need me? Just have Sly pick the lock to the door and steal the thing. This is a delicate business. We're trying to frame Team Iceland for a crime they haven't committed. If there's any evidence of their door being forced, people might believe that they're innocent. Man, you've gotten devious over the years. So, uh, how are we supposed to get inside? There are some sewer pipes beneath town that should connect up with the ventilation system of the hotel. Sly scrounged a raft for the trip, but be careful. Other pilots have caused trouble down there in the past, and the Baron is sure to have set up some security. I get to row a boat? Nautical!
way to the hotel ventilation system. Murray, stay and guard the boat. Responsible one here. Fine. We'll just go down to the front desk and ask for a spare. Nice job. You really showed some finesse with those oars. The Murray is, and always has been, finesse. Uh, yeah. You good to plant this helmet on the Belgian plane? Can do, <laughs> pal. Can do with a vengeance. Thank you. 
Belgium's prize plane strung up from the ceiling. It's held in place by these anchors. Destroy them and the plane should come crashing down. Seems like these lasers might roast my hulking bulk. True. You'll have to compact yourself using your ball boom to travel safely beneath the laser grid. Check. You'll need to use your charged ball attack to take out the anchors. Go into ball form and quickly tap the square button to build up force. Then strike. Nice job. Just three more to go. Halfway there. That plane looks ready to fall. Just one excellent work. Plant the Viking helmet and the Belgians are sure to blame Team Iceland. Murray, I've been working to get our hangar security devices online, and they're almost operational. Unfortunately, my internet pal Penelope heard a rumor that a rival air team might be stopping by to do mischief to our plane. Mischief makers? Coming here? If you could stand watch while I finish getting the systems online, that would be great. Fear not, Brainiac chum. You'll be safe while my fists are on duty. Greetings, troglodytes. Didn't think I forgot about Mesa City, did you? I figure you joints let me smash up your aeroplane and we're even. You and what army, dumb guy? Army? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, boys. I paid you up good enough. Time to crack some skulls. Murray, you can't hurt Buckshot with your fists. Try using the switch in the middle of the hangar. Get that pink pop! These doors ain't holding themselves open! This is just the beginning of a really bad day. Bloodshot wasn't making idle threats. I'm reading multiple hostiles moving through the sewers toward our position. Fortunately, my security devices are almost online. I'll just have time for a quick test. Let's see, I can switch between computers by moving the left analog stick. And now to test the security by pressing the triangle button, circle button, X button, or square button. I can activate the traps for the currently selected sewer. Hmm, they appear to take a few seconds to recharge after being triggered. Looks like they're working perfectly. 
Stop that group, Murray. But it looks like more are on the way. And they're packing explosives. more than muscle to intimidate us. Looks like he's got muscle and mortar fire. Maybe it's time I brought in some backup. Just hope she's monitoring the ham radio frequencies. Penelope, do you read me? Are you out there? I read you, Bentley. Um, this is sort of an awkward first face-to-face, -face, but... But your hangar is getting attacked by some traitorous beat-off Black Baron goons. Don't worry, I won't let those honorless double-crossers hurt your team's play. Is your RC chopper operational? Affirmative. It's deployed and airborne. You're a heck of a woman. I know. That's what my homepage says. Don't worry, Bentley. I'll keep those traitorous guards from damaging your hangar. Oh, wait! I just installed a Yank 86. I haven't had time to read the specs. Are you familiar with the device? Absolutely. Just hit the X button to lower your cable and grab opponents. Follow the arrow to find enemies. Use the R1 button to kick on the thrusters and yank things off the ground. Sweet! I'll teach those chumps not to sell out the Black Baron. Some enemies require a few yanks to defeat. To maximize your power, boost in one direction, pull on the cable, then turn around and boost the other way. Yeah, these guys are heavy. Penelope, I'm detecting incoming tanks. They can do some serious damage to our hangar. Follow the arrow to find their location. Affirmative. 
Those tanks are heavy. You'll have to boost back and forth several times. He wasn't so tough. Hey. Suit up, partner. Almost time for the semifinals. Stay sharp, Sly. Iceland and Belgium will be at each other's throats up I'm there. I'm doing good. You're still outnumbered. Relax, Mom. This is gonna be great.
the slides flying where officially in the Aces Finals. Our opponents, Team Mugshot and Team Black Baron. The rules in the finals are a bit different than normal. Whoever takes out the defending champ gets the title. Hear that, boys? It's all about taking down the Baron. Our only real competition will be Mugshot himself. We need to remove him from the competition. Here's the plan. I'll challenge him to a fist fight out in the town square. Sly, you wind and lure Inspector Fox to the same place. When the two meet, the sparks are sure to fly. With some luck, the big guy will get carted off to jail, and we'll have clear skies for the fight. However, the Baron won't be so easy to deal with. He commands an enormous team of flyers and has been known to bring in a squad of limp gunships when things look grim. The answer to our problem isn't obvious, although it is potent. Behold, Lupus Gigantormus. I'll drug the beast so that the Guru will be able to ride it and take out some of the local guards, who also serve as the Baron's pilots. Obviously, the fewer enemy pilots Sly has to deal with in the finals, the better. Next, I'll hack into the aircraft control tower. If successful, I'll be able to intercept any messages the Baron might send to his gunships. All right, team, we've got all night to prepare. If we take this thing, it'll mean more than a trophy. Penelope is sure to join our gang. After her stellar work defending our hangar, I'm sure we'd all agree that she's a prime recruit. We dealt with Mugshot. We can't risk him taking down the Baron before you in the finals. Not to mention he deserves a little payback for what he did to our aircraft hangar. True, true. Since Mugshot's assault, the Baron has been keeping an eye on him. We can't fight him out in the open for risk of getting disqualified. Thankfully, Inspector Fox is out in the field looking for us. I hear you. We'll set them against each other. Mugshot is an international criminal, after all. Carmelita won't be able to resist. My only concern is for Inspector Fox's safety. Oh, don't worry about her. She's more than a match for a meathead like Mugshot. Okay, I'll pick a fight with Mugshot and bait him into meeting in the town square for our rumble. You do that. I'll get Carmelita's attention and lead her back here to the same place. Agreed. I've got to hand it to you, Benley. This is a really underhanded plan. Why, thank you. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Give me the grill since that event in your hangar. Perhaps you'd like to take out some frustration by engaging in a physical battle with me outside in the town square. No way. I'm being watched here. That, and it wouldn't feel right pounding a four-eyed runt in a wheelchair. My head is spinning from your breath. What, do you gargle with raw sewage every night before bed? Yeah, you're half right. I find a nice tang to my breath helps maintain my poisonal space. <laughs> You know, I've been thinking about your appearance. Look, if you don't got nothing to say nice, then don't say nothing at all. Get it? 
what? Ain't got no sassy comments, smart guy? Oh, I get it. You got nothing nice to say, so you're keeping quiet. That's real cute. You really got nothing nice to say? That's cold. Your mother was a broken down tub of junk with more gentlemen callers than the operator. Nobody talks that way about my mother. Nobody! Okay, little broken down runt. It looks like you're gonna get broken down even more. Town Square, five minutes. Please don't be late. Okay, Sly. Bugshot is on his way outside. Go find Inspector Fox and lead her back to the town square. Hey, Inspector Fox. Still looking for a date to the prom? Quit running and I'll pin the corsage on you. Sly, why run? Why not face me like a real man? Mess with me? That little punk is gonna eat dice. Hey! You're that cop hag that busted me back in Mesa City! Mugshot, alias Two Gun Tony, also known as Meathead Mugshot. Seven foot, three inches, 324 pounds, wanted in seven countries with 13 outstanding warrants for your arrest. And yes, I'm that cob hag that put you away back in Mesa. Well, wise guy, lady, feel like going for another shot at the title? It's my duty to put you behind bars. That, and I enjoy making tough guys cry like the stupid babies they really are. I ain't no stupid baby! I'm sorry. I didn't know they was yours. Ugh, booking this idiot will take all night. Oh well, I'm sure Cooper won't make his move anytime soon. specimen of Lupus Gigantormus. So, let me get this straight again. You plan on stalking that thing, 
drugging it, putting the guru on board, and setting the two free to smash up the guards? An airtight plan, I agree. In simplicity itself, by channeling the wild destruction housed in that bloodthirsty creature, we should be able to thin out the Black Baron's ranks. Which, of course, means fewer enemy pilots flying against you in the vials. I'm all for evening the odds in our favor, but come on. This plan seems a little... risky. Not at all. I've modified my sleep darts with heavy doses of skunk bulb. It should be enough to pacify the beast, provided he doesn't catch wind of me first. All right, that sounds okay. You can hang back and shoot him at a distance. Uh... Well, given the weight of the darts, I'll need to sneak up behind him and take a shot within a few meters. Meters? Quit trying to freak me out and put the guru on the binocucom. After I put the wolf to sleep, it'll be up to you. Thanks, guru. You always know just what to say. Nice work, big game hunter. The skunk bomb is kicking in. He's almost asleep. Guru, you're up. You should be able to possess the giant wolf now that he's out. Excellent. 
That should even the odds tomorrow in the finals. plan to hack into the aircraft control tower. It's simple, really. The whole system is linked through computer nodes which monitor the power generated by the nearby windmills. Seriously? All the power around here comes from the local windmills? I thought they were just for looks. The control nodes tell a different story. How do you plan to get up there? It's pretty high. My turbo chair has been outfitted with an extra afterburner. Heights such as that are nothing to me. Prepare yourself, computer. I will show no mercy. Oops. Good thing I've got hacker code linked to the right analog stick. This data stream looks protected. Hmm, looks like I might need to transport the circular lockdown code. Finally, some challenge. Another falls before my digital kung fu. Hey, yeah, stop, stop. Grasshopper, kneel before the feet of the master. Looks like they're going to put up a little fight this time. Terminal terminated.
Don't worry, my pet. I'll make this quick and painless. for the aircraft control tower. Once it's hacked, the system will be mine! You'll have to use your auxiliary afterburner to get over to that computer. Jump as far- Aha! My final opponent! Looks like they saved the big code for last. How that be? stars, eh? This little system bug might come in handy. Thanks to our combined efforts, we're now ready for the final round of the Aces dogfighting competition. Put on your helmets, because it's time for Operation Turbo Dominant Eagle. In just a few hours, Team Iceland and Team Belgium will begin fighting it out in the B-Champs round. This will provide the perfect cover for step one of my plan. Sly, use the catapult and your paraglider to get access to the local gunships. Land some tracking devices, then head back to the Team Hangar and suit up for the finals. 
Murray, you're up next. Use your rowboat to pull down the aircraft communication antenna. With it out of commission, the Baron will have to use an unscrambled radio frequency to call in the gunships for backup. If that happens, I'll be ready with our secret weapon. And with the tracking devices installed, I'm guaranteed not to miss. In the end, though, it'll be up to slot. This is a sudden death competition. The first team to take out last year's champ wins. That's if the Black Baron doesn't take out all the competition first. See you next time. Goodbye.